In this tip of the day, let's take a look at the reduced step feature provided by One CNC. Now, the reduced step feature is a great feature in that it provides the ability to reduce the amount of material that the finish tool is going to have to remove when finishing the part. Now, this translates to longer tool life as well as a much nicer part finish. Let me give you an example. Here we have a solid model, and I've already applied a Z level rough operation. And for depth of cut, I'm using 100 thousandths. Let's quickly simulate this. Going to right hand mouse click, select simulate. Let's use that solid model I created a little bit earlier. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see that we have some quite large steps. This is the material that the finish tool is going to have to remove. Well, we can make the finish pass a lot easier on the finish tool if we can reduce the size of these steps. So let's do that. It's quite easy to do. Let's go back here. I'm going to quickly edit our machining operation. I'm going to right hand mouse click, select edit operation. And let's push through these dialog boxes here. And here you can see we have a depth of cut of, of 100 thousandths. Well, we can come back and reduce that depth of cut in fact, why not reduce that down to how about 30 thousandths? What that means is that one CNC is going to first take that 100 thousandths depth of cut, and then it's going to make that a lot smaller to 30 thousandths. We'll click Next and Finish. I don't need to repick the boundary. We'll let one CNC generate the toolpath. There we go. Now let's take this into Simulate. We'll go to Simulate, click OK. And now if we zoom in, this has provided a more constant stock configuration for the finish tool. And again, that's going to translate into longer tool life and a much better finish. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.